Hey there, KP here, and today I'm going to cook you chicken pot pie. Alright, let's get into it. I'm using a slow cooker, or crock pot, my preferred method. And I cooked this the day before I make the pie. So I've added one shredded onion and six chicken drumsticks. Chicken drumsticks, very inexpensive cut of meat. Use that for a pie, don't use breast or anything like that. We're gonna add in two cups of chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock if you wish. You could even use beef stock. I use chicken stock. All right, we're gonna put it in our slow cooker. I'm gonna turn it on and just let it go. All right, just forget about it. Go do something else for a couple of hours. All right, so I'm around about an hour and a half in. Just cooking this on low. And I'm gonna add in two potatoes, roughly chopped like that. And we'll let it continue to do its thing. I'm adding in a little bit of beef stock powder and a little bit of black pepper into this. And, ah, uh, why not? Why not? Let me find my next secret ingredient, the bacon. You know I love my bacon. It gives a smoky flavor to it. And the bacon fat is just a, a real nice added bonus. I'm gonna put that in, let it sit for a while. We're about two and a half to three hours in. We can now take out our drumsticks, put them on a plate and let them cool. They're far too hot to play with at this point in time. All right, our drumsticks have cooled down. All we need to do now is pull the meat off the bone, nice and easy. And when you use a slow cooker, you do find the meat comes off the bone very, very easily. So we shred the drumsticks like that. And we go to our next step. Letting our stock cook right down and the potatoes, the potatoes are gonna be our thickening agent for this stew slash filling for our pie. Once the potatoes get to the point where they can be broken up with the end of a fork or spoon, just push them up against the side of the pot so they break down just that little bit quicker. We can now add our chicken back into our soup or our pie film. It starts off as a stew, but as you work it through, it will thicken up into a real rich filling. We're gonna start putting in some vegetables, just some frozen green beans and corn. Nothing wrong with using the frozen vegetables. They're already blanched. And we're gonna add in some frozen carrot. You could use fresh if you wish, but I would put them in a lot earlier. Okay, and we're going to add in I think I had some peas around here somewhere. Yes, some green peas. And look how lovely and thick that's all it's already becoming. Keep it stirring. We don't want anything to catch on the bottom. And we're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. And that's just gonna beef up the flavor a little bit. Mmm, yum. Very easy to make. Don't need to spend a lot of time cooking this, very simple. All right, what I do with this is it gets to a point where I can take some out and eat it, and then I put it in the fridge overnight. Next day, just come out of the fridge, you can see it is only five degrees. I'm gonna bring it up to 35 degrees. I'm gonna leave my kitchen probe in our mixture, loosely put the lid on, Make sure you don't get that probe caught between the lid and the pot. I'm gonna bring it up to 35 degrees, and now it's time to get our pastry ready. Get your pastry and just give it a light roll, and it'll just make it a little bit bigger so it'll fit on our pie dish just a little bit better. Don't have to go crazy with this. I'm using store-bought puff pastry. It sits in the freezer. So let it thaw out before you try and roll it. And now we're ready to make our pie. Got my pie dish, and all I need to do now is put filling in to our pie dish. And we want to get it to roughly the top of the pie dish. 
just keep ladling it in. Try not to spill it. And if you've never had chicken pot pie, this is just the most amazing thing to have. Put your pie dish on a tray or the oven with a lip around the edge of the tray. This is going to stop any spillage and stop making a mess in your oven. Simply put the pastry on top, remove the protective plastic like I'm struggling with here. Right, we're just going to get our pastry, get it placed evenly on our pie, just like so. And I don't cut my pastry, I just roll the edges up. It, it doesn't look real good, but you're not wasting any pastry by doing this. And it does give it a nice thick, chunky edge that you can dip into the pie later on. I'm going to put a couple of little vent holes and that's just, just to stop the steam making the pastry solid. Alright, into the oven, 180 degrees Celsius for around about 45 minutes. And as time flies by, we can now take our pie out and look at that. One chicken pot pie. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this recipe. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Come join the family and I will catch you next time. Bye.